Esther Wanjiru started using heroin at 16 after her baby died of yellow fever. Today she barely survives in the low-income area of Kawangware in Kenya's capital Nairobi. But she needs 5 to 10 fixes a day. I'm a heavy junkie. A single dose costs 120 Kenyan shillings or just under 1 euro. But Esther does not have money. So she turned to prostitution to find her addiction. So it's not that that is that person is ready to do everything so that I can get what I want. East Africa is a halfway stop on the trafficking route to Europe. Once just a stop off, Kenya is itself becoming a big hero and consumer. It is cheap and abundant. A government survey covering only a third of the country in 2018 found 27,000 users. The coronavirus pandemic made a bad situation even worse, according to the Heroin Addiction Association, KenPad. I can uh, assure you the number is growing because now of also the situation of COVID. Yeah, there, there's a depression, uh, people are kind of uh, confused. Uh, from the beginning when COVID came, uh, people started with alcohol, uh, people lost jobs. So all that when you put it together, you find the, 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 long, the, the long results is getting themselves into drugs. 40 tons of heroin pass through Kenya each year. Five stay behind for local sell, according to the UN. To combat the issue, Kenya has expanded access to methadone, a heroin substitute which treats withdrawal symptoms and helps addicts to win themselves off the drug. This Doctors Without Borders clinic in the north of Nairobi treats 400 users every day. Alice Kiema resolved to fight her addiction when her boyfriend died of an overdose. It has improved my life very much because now I have a very good relationship with my family. I can manage my money, the small that I get. I'm clean, I'm healthy. Yeah, it has really changed my life. There are around 10 methadone clinics in Kenya. They offer a way out to users, but they are not nearly enough to meet the need.